In this video, we'll be taking a look at app web URLs and app isolation. So here's our knockout app from the previous demo. And recall, uh, this is the app web. And I can navigate to the host web by clicking this link up here. And I can navigate back to the app web by clicking the link in the quick launch or a link that shows up in the site contents menu. All right, so let's go back to the host web. And I'm going to grab the URL here, copy it, and then paste it into Notepad. There are two parts of this URL that I want to highlight. One is the domain, intranet.wingtip.com. And the second is the relative URL to our host web, which is slash sites slash demo. Now let's go to our app and grab the URL copy to the clipboard, come back over to Notepad, and paste it in. Now look at the domain. Even though we know, when we saw this in the last demo, that the app web is a child site of the host web, the app web has a different domain than the host web. And in fact, the app web has a different domain than everything else, because each instance of a SharePoint hosted app has its own unique domain. To see this, let's go back to Internet Explorer and I'll navigate to a different SharePoint site than we've been using, but one that also has the Knockout app installed in it. And I'll navigate to the app, you can see the functionality is the same. I'll grab the URL here, copy it to the clipboard, come back to Notepad, and paste it in and come back over here and notice that this part of the URL for the second instance of the Knockout app is different than this part of the URL for the first instance. Before we discuss why each app web has a unique domain, let's take a look at the structure of the URL. The first part, that's the part before the dash, wingtip tenant in the example on the slide is called the prefix. The second part is called the unique identifier or the app UID. This value is generated when the app is installed. The third part, app.wingtip.com in the example in the slide is known as the app domain. And the fourth part, slash site slash demo slash knockout in the example on the slide is the relative URL to the app web. Setting the values used for the prefix and the app domain are part of the app configuration I mentioned earlier in this module. It's important to reiterate that the fact that each app web has a unique domain has nothing to do with where the app is stored in SharePoint. Unless you've done a tenant scope deployment, which is rare, the app web is a child side of the host web. We'll talk about tenant scope deployments towards the end of the course. With that said, let's discuss why each app web has a unique domain. The first reason is that a unique domain gives each app a unique identity. That way SharePoint can identify which app is making a request and enforce app permissions. We'll talk more about app identity and permissions in the next clip in this module. The second reason that each app web has a unique domain is app isolation. Because each app has its own domain, each app is bound by the cross-domain restrictions enforced by modern browsers. This helps protect data stored in the app, in addition to protecting the app itself.